as we settle into the retreat routine, you might be finding that the the mind is getting a, a little more settled. As the time goes by, it becomes a bit easier to sustain the attention in the present. If you find that's the case, the mind resting easily in the present moment, then there's no need to focus on the the breathing as a specific object, since the the use of the feeling of the breath is simply a way of anchoring our attention. If the the mind is being pulled this way and that by the the winds of of distraction, caught up in the sounds that we hear or memories, ideas then it's important, useful, to have a a reference point to help key the attention into the present moment. So, for that purpose, we use the breathing. It's a simple and direct way of uh, helping the attention to be grounded here in the reality of, of the present. But if there is that quality of stability, the attention is resting easily in the present, the mind not prone to distraction, then there's no need to focus on the breath as a specific object. So in this case, because there isn't that... uh, collection of pulls, the winds and currents pulling our attention this way and that, and there's no need to have a, an anchor, there's no need to create a specific focal point. So if that's the case and you find the mind is already settled, quiet, steady, Let's let the breath mix in with the rest of the flow of perceptions. The feelings in the body, the sounds that you hear, different sense impressions. To simply let the heart be open to the the flow of experience itself. Receiving the, the flow of impressions, knowing them, letting them all go. being the open space, the receptive space in which all perceptions, thoughts, feelings arise, take shape and dissolve. In this way where able to witness the process of experience rather than being uh, caught up in the content to know how experience to watch how the process of experience works but if it's the case that the mind is still very busy agitated or sleepy drifting this way and that then if this is the case, then we still can make good use of an anchor, good use of a, of a clear and firm reference point. So if the mind is busy, agitated, the attention unstable, then we stay with the feeling of the breath, using that, developing that, to help strengthen the quality of attention, to help support the the focus here in the present moment. 
Each of us has to discern, decide for ourselves what's the useful thing, what's the appropriate tool to be using at any one time. Only we can judge. No one else can really tell us in a reliable, accurate way. Now in this respect, it's also important not to create judgments about oh, I'm doing so well, my mind is already so quiet, I'm a real successful meditator. Or, oh, my mind is so busy, I couldn't dream of, of not having uh, every kind of support possible to help the mind to focus. So busy, chattering away, drifting this way and that. I'm a failure. I'm a I'm a real kindergarten meditator. This is uh, unhelpful to be uh, creating believing in judgments in this way. Rather, we take a simple, pragmatic approach. Rather than judging quietness as good or busyness as bad. see it more in terms of working with the way life is rather than how we think it should be otherwise it's like walking up to an oak tree and saying you should be an ash walking up to a rose and saying you'd be much better off as a daisy it's meaningless pointless so similarly with our own mind if it's busy, then we work with busyness. We learn from busyness. If it's quiet, then we learn from quietness. We work with quietness. We start from where we are, rather than where we, we think we should be. In this way, as an attunement to the, the actuality, the practical reality of things, rather than living off in a, an abstraction, an idealized picture of how things ought to be, how we should be, how we could be. But rather there's an attunement to this, how it is. And that very attunement is the way that we help the, the wholesome potentials to be actualized and how the harmful or obstructive habits get relinquished. This is how it works. <laughs> 